Assalamu alaikum grade 1 and good afternoon to all of you. So how are you all doing? Great. That's very good. Okay. Yes, I'm also good. Thank you. And um, it's your social studies class. And in today's class, we will be uh, discussing the activities that are related to school, um, how those activities are performed, what are what are their importance. So first, we will quickly revise what we did in yesterday's class, and then we will move forward. So I'll be asking you guys, what were the topic we covered in yesterday's class? What was the things we discussed? Who is going to tell me? Hurry up. Yes, Sarah. Yes, we, we started the topic, my school. Okay, good. Yes. Excellent. We talked about what I, what we created. We created a mind map. I write the word my school on the board and I ask you to tell me all of the words, all of the ideas that come in your mind when you look at this word, right? And then you told me that the words that came in your mind are, let's say, um, we, we talked about discipline, we talked about school bag, geometry, uniform, playground, we talked classrooms, library, art room, all of these things which are related to school, which are linked to school in any way. And they have an importance to the, in the school, right? So we discussed all of these things in great detail. Now, in today's class, we will move a little forward and we will discuss the different activities that are going on in school, right? Different activities, let's say assembly is being taken place in the school, which is a very important part of the school, right? Why assembly is taking place? What is the procedure for that? Where do that it take place? And let's say the other activities can be the different um, activities or the different games that is that takes place in the school playground, then the different activities that take place in the school classroom. So we will discuss all of these things. Okay, so let's first watch a video together. And then we will move forward. I'm going to share the screen with you. Show me a thumbs up if the video is visible to you. Okay. Is the screen visible? Show me a thumbs up. Okay, perfect. Doo -doo. Ooh, here I am to my school. This is my school building and how it looks like. That's a closer view to my school building. We have so many classes, cafeteria, gym, everything inside here. Let me show you around. This is my classroom. That's my class teacher. She's so much fun. And that's the cafeteria. And that's our chef. He cooks great food for us. We have lunches here. And the gym. I'm at the gym. With my friend Bob. And the best times we have at the park. With so many rides. Esau. Slides. And that's my school. Okay, class. So we watched a video together. And who is going to tell me what have we seen in the video? What were the, the things he discussed? The person, the boy in the video, what were the things he discussed? He started from the very beginning from the school bus. School bus is very important part of the school. Why? Because we use only school bus for going to the school, right? Because you, you do not use school bus for, let's say, uh, visiting your grandparents, for, let's say, visiting your aunt. So the school bus is linked to the school. Okay. What, what were the other things he talked about? There were some points that he discussed. We were all, we already discussed them in, in, in our yesterday's class. And there were some points he missed in this video, right? Okay, let's start from the points he, he added. Let's say he talked about the school bus. We didn't discuss school bus in yesterday's class, right? Then he talked about the gym. Well, gym is not uh, basically the main part of every school. Every school does not have a gym. But some of them do have, maybe it, it's a, um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, higher school where st st students can do gym students of maybe o a, o a levels because the students at your age of grade one two they do not go to gym on usual basis right then what else he talks about the cafeteria and the cook wh who cooks great food for them right and we didn't discuss the cook and cafeteria okay yes but we do this uh, we did um, a discussion on uh, the shops in the in the schools right now the points he missed were we discussed about 
the library we discussed about the art room as well we discussed about uh, the 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 drawings which were related to art room definitely so now i'm i'll be showing you some pictures those pictures are related to some activities which are taking place in the school so what you need to do you will be identifying the name of the activity in the picture and then we will make discussion on that okay so let's start with the first one okay show me a thumbs up if the screen is visible to you or not okay okay is the screen visible perfect okay who is going to tell me what is going on in this picture what is the activity taking place in this picture excellent assembly is going on this and and how did you come to know about this because there is this proper pattern the students are standing in a proper position they are praying they are making a pray to allah right okay good and and how did you come to know that this is a school and these are students they can be some somebody else who will be standing like this so how did you come to know that these are students and this is a school can you see the building at the back there is a proper way right usually houses are not built in this way hostels are not built in this way some other buildings like offices are not built um, so and, and nobody wear the same you know dresses on general basis so from these points we get to know this idea that the building at the back is a school building because we can see the classrooms in a row and this the people standing in the picture are students why because they are wearing the same uniform right so this was the thing this was uh, the 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 main points through which we get this idea that this is a school and that these are the students right now let's move forward there is some other picture and you will tell me what is going on in this activity okay so i'm going to share the next picture with you okay tell me what is this what is going on in this picture what do you get to know what uh, the what what was the idea you came to the the setting what is this setting about this is a classroom setting wonderful and how did you come to know about this because there are proper charts at the background the students are sitting in a proper way they have their bags they have their pencils with them the teacher is standing at the front and then there are there is a small mini library at the corner the back corner of the class right so all of these things they are giving us the idea that it's a classroom setting and the students are maybe performing an activity now we can assume that the teacher says that um let's say i plan to go to um, to visit my relatives on weekend who else have seen the same plannings and the students are raising their hands or maybe she is saying something else okay so the students are raising their hands for something right or maybe she is asking a question and she says who knows the answer just raise his hand so we get to know about this that this is a classroom setting and the, the activity which is going on is that they are making a discussion on something or the uh, the teacher is asking them to raise their hand uh, if somebody knows the answer if somebody plans the same or or anything now i'm going to share the third third picture and you will be recognizing the third activity okay what is this picture about excellent it's a playground and how did you come to know that this is a playground how did you come to know that or how did you come to know that it's a school playground because all of the students all of the children who are in the picture they are yes they are wearing the same uniform exactly okay so and they are playing something some are running some are you know uh, standing somewhere some are eating so th this look it looks like it's a break time and the students are enjoying in the playground so through these th these three activities we discuss three things the first thing is assembly assembly is organized in every school in which some proper activities are done we start our assemblies with the recitation and we end our assemblies with the recitation of national anthem that we did together and we stand for the in the respect of the national anthem and uh, while the recitation is made we you know um, we also stand silently at that position and there are some other activities which vary from school to school uh, some schools have um, added things like 
a prayer is made a teacher makes a prayer and uh, all of the students follows her in some uh, schools uh, um, in the assembly time a small moral lesson or uh, you know the quote of the day is shared with the students and the students are asked to follow the same in their life in some school some other activities so this varies from school to school right now the three points that we have discussed are related to uh, yeah, the the uh, information which is shared in your book okay now i'll ask you to open your book page number 3 this is your book page number 3 my school and we will be uh, i gave you this home assignment that you were supposed to read this book page and i'll be reading this again with you let's start reading Hasan and Zara want to tell their friends about their school. Okay, this is our school. See, there is a school building, and Hasan and Zara are talking about their school building. And this says that we enter the school by the gate. Now, every school has an entrance gate, right? Through which the students enter, and there is the security guard standing at the front gate to look after all of the children. Then our assembly is held in the school playground. This is their school playground, and the assembly is held over there. Well, this is this happens in all of the schools that the assembly is held in the in there. playground or in the front ground right but uh, if let's say it's a rainy day and you cannot go outside then the assemblies are taken place individually in every classroom and the third thing we discussed is we have our lessons in the classroom all of the lessons are taken place in the classroom let's say i i uh, we uh, in yesterday's class we talked about icit lab we talked about library so library is also a classroom where we go for the reading of books and the title given to that classroom is library similarly ICT lab where we do for taking our or for attending our computer class is also a classroom which is given ICT lab a title right so these are name of the classroom but all of the things where we do where we take lessons all of the um, classes where all of the uh, rooms where we take our classes are known as classrooms right now that was all for today uh, before ending our class let me give you a small assignment with uh, a small uh, reinforcement activity for you the reinforcement activity for today is that you are supposed to plan an assembly let's say i ask you that tomorrow's assembly will be according to your plan okay and you are supposed to plan the things so what were the things you will you will add into that let's say you says that after the recitation i'll be uh, some student will come and recite nath let's say you say that uh, i'll share a quote let's say you um, says that if it's a if it's some day let's say fathers day mothers day we will discuss we will make some discussion on that so you can add anything into that but it would be your idea okay so you need to plan an assembly you can note down the points on your notebook or you can memorize them and just tell me verbally in tomorrow's class okay so hope you guys enjoy the lecture See you in the next class. Allah Hafiz.